Find out Jim Jim the hot words in the news. We have a natural news item for you today. Da Ziranda. We're talking about a solar eclipse. In Chinese, you might say Ru Shi. Rebecca, Neo Kango Ru Shi Ma. Yes, I have, but a long time ago when I was a child. You know, I, I think I remember going out、um, with my science teacher in middle school when an eclipse was about to happen. Um, it's very important not to look at the sun directly, not to look at the eclipse directly, because after all, it means you're looking at the sun. Don't do that, right? Okay. Well, what are our key words for today? Well, our first word is solar eclipse, and that's what we're talking about. It's when the moon gets in between the sun and the earth, and they're in a perfect line if it's a full solar eclipse. Now, if the Earth comes between the Moon and the Sun, we call that a lunar eclipse. That's a good one for you to know. Another word that you should know is the word celestial. This, in, according to the news, refers to anything out in space. So Jupiter and the other planets are celestial bodies.、Um, in Chinese, you might say 天的 or 说关于外太空的东西 And our last word is a line. 对齐 So if you have something that is a line, it's two or more things. They are in the same line. They are aligned. Well, Xinwen Lila, on Saturday, October fourteenth, two thousand twenty-three. That's this year, by the way. A solar eclipse will be visible in parts of the United States, Mexico, and many countries in South and Central America. This celestial event occurs when the moon aligns perfectly between the Earth and the Sun, casting its shadow on our planet. And just a reminder: don't look directly into the sun. Use something called a special-purpose solar filter. There are ways to enjoy observing a solar, or even a lunar eclipse. Well, that's all the time that we have for today's hot words in the news.